be blown away and so humbled and honored to be able to be the new leader of the United Conservative Party. And more than that, I will work tirelessly, and you guys know me. I've been running for seven years straight, <laughs> and I, am, I have the stamina, and I will keep running. And I'm looking at you, Ian, because it's your fault that I'm here in the first place. <laughs> One of the guys <laughs> was around my table when I made this decision in 2014, cold Christmas time period. Your fault, all on you. <laughs> and given that opportunity to be the voices for all Albertans, to be able to rebuild faith and instill trust and empower Albertans to actively engage in the democratic process, something that I think we take for granted all the time. So, here we go. Let's work to continue what you've started. I know you keep hearing that we're rebuilding and we're redoing this and we're redoing... No, 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 no. Let me be very, very clear. Albertans are going to do fine despite whatever government we put in front of you, okay? You always have and you always will, but we can do so much better. And think about what you've already accomplished. And if you have a government that actually gets who you are and gets Albertans, what is possible in the future? Think about that for a moment. That's where we have to go.